What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slip. Welcome back to my 2K16 My Career Let's Play Ebenezer's Revenge Fighting Jack Swagger for the second time of three in one week because this game has no imagination when it comes to their feud booking after, you know, the 42 hour mark. It doesn't care anymore. Uh, our authority goal is to have green body health. That probably won't happen. Don't care either way. Uh, after a devastating and shocking loss to Jack Swagger yesterday, still in the middle of the freaking card, like, I'm the world champion, what are you doing? I'm not CM Punk, seriously. Um, and so we're gonna fight Jack Swagger again today, and hopefully, maybe, win this time. I am here on a fine Saturday afternoon, how are you all doing? Uh, I'm doing pretty good, I guess, for the weekend anyway. Uh, got some weekend things to do, weekend games to play, and, uh, just, you know, a little bit of video work to get done, um, and not a whole lot of news going on, but, uh, there was a report that apparently that, uh, thing with Bailey was a work, um, so thankfully she is not hurt, that was a storyline injury, and honestly, that's the easiest way to get people up in arms these days and really, you know, make them believe something's actually wrong is because there have been so many real-life injuries in the past, you know, year and a half that storyline injuries at this point are totally believable because everyone's fucking getting hurt, so that's, uh, concerning, I guess. But, yes, it is good that she is not hurt because she is certainly one of the cornerstones for the NXT brand at this point. Um... So, that's important to have that, because, I mean, who else are you going to give that belt to? Nia Jax? Come on now. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me to see another one of The Rock's relatives getting a monster push. Come on, that just seems to be the nature of things these days. Um, anyway, I want to get back to some news that I missed talking about uh, for whatever reason, uh, like day before yesterday. Um, that ref took forever to get there. That ref took forever to get there. Uh, Rich Brennan, uh, who was an backstage interviewer on NXT, uh, occasional announcer on main event, superstars, one of those two, is no longer with the company. And I totally spaced on talking about that yesterday. Um, but yeah, he's he's done. I mean, the way, it, the, the, the way that it used to work back in the day is that post-Mania season, they would just kind of have... I totally missed that they would have a bunch of guys get get released, like a, a bunch of the wrestlers get released, um, or, you know, wish them the best in their future endeavors, which is where the future endeavored uh, stuff comes from. Because it used to be every year, like clockwork, you get past Mania, they kind of do some house cleaning and go, hey, we don't need these guys. We don't need Chavo Guerrero here anymore. Come on. What's he actually doing? Uh, so they would, you know, get rid of like five to eight guys at a time. Um, and you can kind of count on it like clockwork. In, re in recent years, not so much. You don't see those, you know, you don't see the corporate PR saying, you know, here are the guys getting released. Uh, so it's not, it's not as interesting. But yeah, Rich Brennan and apparently Kyle Edwards, who did their top five on their YouTube channel, is also gone. Uh, and by all accounts, I hear that Edwards was a huge fan and... The backwards-ass nature of WWE tends to mean that huge fans don't really get over in the company. They want people who worked in TV and movies. It's, it's a fucking shit show. Like, I don't understand that mentality. Like, if you're a fan of wrestling, you do worse being in the WWE than you would not being a fan of wrestling. Because they want that mainstream appeal so badly. So badly. Anyway, best of luck to those two guys in their future endeavors, and hopefully they will do all, all, all right for themselves. Um, there are plenty of other wrestling organizations that might that, that might want them, you know. Having had the experience uh, in the quote-unquote big leagues. Um, and again, Jack Swagger kind of just reverses the damn finisher, which is frustrating. Anyway, yeah, so we're heading into Payback uh, tomorrow, and I am looking forward to watching Payback because certainly the card seems, you know, moderately fresh. 
uh, not a whole lot of WrestleMania rematches, which is always a good thing. Um, there we go. Quick thinking. Because it, it used to be, back when it was always Extreme Rules, it used to be that uh, the pay-per-view after Mania was just all Mania rematches, and that made it kind of not super interesting, but most of this card are matches we haven't seen before, so... Fresh start is always good, like, obviously outside of the Callisto and Ryback match, which is obviously a Mania rematch, but... Two. And there's your Jack Swagger victory. There is your Jack Swagger victory. Well, I kind of made short work of Jack Swagger. Oh, I'm not done yet. Not done yet. Ring the damn bell. That man has a family, damn it. And now I potentially get a Renee Young interview about my grievous actions against the one and only Jack Swagger. Or it's just going to load into back into the main, main menu. One of the two. Either way, I'm stuck here watching this little bar spin around until I can hit X. Oh, hey, I actually did a, a complete the authority order. How about that? Yeah, no Renee Young interview, so that's... Okay. Sure. Man, that makes this a short-ass video. Uh, and then SummerSlam is happening against Jack Swagger. It is a title match. The authority goal is to put on a three-star match or better. That'll get back to being favorable. And you know what? Fuck it. Might as well do it today. I didn't do any prep... I didn't do any moveset changes. Fuck it, we're doing it today. We're doing it live! Uh, because I don't want to have like a five minute video for my 2K16, my career. So, screw it. Let's just do it. And thankfully, it is the main event. What else is on this card? The Ambrose Debray, Harper and Rowan vs. Uh, Lucha Dragons, Usos vs. Yeah, okay. Barrett, Dallas, and Jericho. What? Rollins, Big Show, Sheamus, Bray Wyatt, uh, Pentagon Jr., The Rock, Lesnar versus Orton. Yeah, I, I guess. And uh, that's your main event. That's your, that's your SummerSlam card. Now then, the only thing I care about here is hitting that authority goal for the three-star match. Because as I've been saying, as was supposed to happen with Finn Balor, I am dropping the belt so I can reclaim it and be a three-time champion. So... As long as I don't lose to Swagger in under three stars, which, you know, kind of hasn't happened in a long time. Or, well, I can't, I, I can't recall what that match was when I lost it uh, the, the yesterday. So that, that might have been three stars or under, but I haven't really intentionally, you know, or unintentionally lost uh, in a match that was that short uh, in a while, notwithstanding. I can't recall what it was yesterday. Anyway, out of nowhere, you're not Randy Orton. <laughs> Knees to the gut, the the very large and protruding gut of Mr. Middlesdorf. Nope. Back body drop. All right, Swagger. Your soaring eagle can't save you now. Chavo Guerrero can't save you now. Speak, speak, speaking of Chavo. Yep. Woo! 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 Styling and profiling. Uh, and if you flip over, that reverses the pressure, because that totally makes sense, right? Um, yeah. Another choke sign coming right up, right in the middle of the ring. We're at one and a half stars here, and we need to do some high flying, high falutin. Uh,. The built to flop flip. Nope. Eat it. Come on, swagger. Oh. Nope. So I'm not gonna fuck this up. I'm not. I'm not even thinking. I'm not even even entertaining the idea of getting out of the ring. Not even entertaining it. Because that's what screwed things up last time with Finn Balor. I wanted to do, oh, we'll do a table spot. We'll do outside shit. It'll be great. 
and then uh, accidentally had him counted out. Didn't mean to do that. That wasn't on my game plan. Huh. Damn it. So now, because I turned off Move Thief, because you guys said to turn off Move Thief to be, you know, to try and be a face, uh, I'm having these problems now where I kind of get out of the ring when I don't mean to. Um, so that sucks. What are you gonna do? So, but needs a crash! Never the same. So I'm not going to accidentally tap him out, because I, I haven't ever tapped anybody out, so that's not really a concern. Drop toe hold. Yeah. Don't exchange hold with the, with the real real American American. Oops. Did it way too early there. Way too early. What? Amateur wrestling. Ebenezer is not catch as catch can. Ebenezer is not a qualified amateur wrestler. Come on now. Enough with the submission, Swagger. Is that all you got? I don't believe the destruction we're seeing. The destruction we're seeing from Swagger. As I choke slam him or attempt to again and again and again. Alright, here we go. You're still good in the F5 if I can get my fucking stamina back. There we go. Three stars. Okay, now what happens as long as I don't get him counted out by accident doesn't actually matter. So let's steal his finisher. And that will incense him. Or no. I guess that's not his finisher. I guess I had to do the swagger bomb or... No, he has the Patriot Lock. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whatever. Again, I'm playing it safe here to lose the belt to Jack Swagger. So, uh, I don't want him. I'm doing that on purpose to <laughs> make his meter fill up. Alright, Jack, what do you got? What do you got? Huh? Have your babyface comeback. Do it. Huh? Do it. Come on. Do it. Do something. Be a man. There you go. There you go. Alright, that's... Yep. Big old knee. Now, is that second sure? There's the knee chop thing. And then he'll have finisher. Now, I'm not gonna get pinned by his fucking signature. Because that's not good. So, I'm gonna let him do his work here. Do his... do his business. Vicious. Ah, oh, the push-ups. The push-ups. That's great. Alright. We got an ace signature spot here. That can make for a good thumbnail. Swagger bomb. Swagger bomb. That's it. Not kicking out. And you are new world champion. That's right, Jack Swagger, world champion, once again. Uh, because I allowed it to happen. I am the mastermind on this whole thing. So, you only won because I allowed you to win. And I guess now we're going to get back into it and, uh, uh, you know, get our belt back, boy. Because that's how this goes, and then we'll be a three-time champion. And then we'll see uh, what the next goal is from there, I suppose. But uh, let's, well, let's let, let's let, let's let, mm. let us let Swagger have his five minutes of glory. Because it's not going to last very long. Anyway. Welcome back to the show. What's up, Renee Young? Welcome back to the show. I am now favorable with the authority, even though it doesn't actually fucking matter. I've been back and forth more than the big show has in, in his long and illustrious career. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I'm bold. I'm like Doritos. I'm bold. I am one of the brightest superstars in the WWE, but I did not get here by trusting Except for when I did. And was totally in the authority and fought Sting and Mania. Because, you know, much like the real WWE, that happened too, way too long ago and no one fucking remembers that. Come on now. And there you go, my rank has decreased. Wait, 
Wait, wait, wait, wait, wait, wait, how the fuck, wait. Okay, video game, now somebody warned me this would happen, I seen it in the comments, that it doesn't matter who you lose the belt to, it goes back to Brock Lesnar. That is absolutely the stupidest fucking design decision on the goddamn planet. Why, oh why, oh why would that happen? That's dumb. Because now, I have to feel with Brock Lesnar again for like the 40th time. Um, and hopefully he's on Raw. But like literally, it goes from pay-per-view, like I could... It, It'd make sense if, you know, there was a show in between there, but there isn't. It goes from, it's fucking, it goes from SummerSlam to Raw, there's no in between. It's not the hardcore belt, it's not being defended under 24 hour rules. Why would you program it like that, you fucking motherfuckers? I know why. Because when they decide who's in that top 10 of any particular title, they only have those 10 guys for that title, it can't be anybody else, it doesn't matter who I choose uh, to lose to, it can't be anybody else, that is stupid, too stupid. So there we go, Lesnar again tomorrow, I'm going to attack him uh, and, you know, get back into a feud, get the belt for a third time, and then something else, who knows, we'll see. Anyway, I'm attack. so thanks for watching. Again, this is my ongoing 2K16 My Career Let's Play Ebenezer's Revenge. Um, and we are like 160 episodes in. It's been a long ride. Thanks for watching. More videos every day, and I'll see you next time, right here on this channel. In a mouth!